Um, the Think project, well, I'll try to start from where, where we had the idea, or actually my predecessors had the idea to start the Think project. Well, working in a commission and starting new policy initiatives or revising existing initiatives or legislation, well, usually you are in need of a study and a good study. It's not always, let's say, a, a full requirement, but it's often advisable to uh, try to get outside knowledge uh, via study consultancies. It can be academic uh, support. Um, but often we face the problem that, well, we need to start the whole process and identify uh, good contractants and uh, consultants to do the study. And at some point, somebody had the good idea to make this a more regular process, a more long-term process. So not to start every time again on a new topic in the energy area to find somebody who can do the study. So why not try to find um, a group of people, let's call them in general terms, who can do top studies on several diff different topics in the energy area. Um, so that's where we just needed to find some funding for that, and actually a research funding is suitable. You can f f fund a study contracts, so that where the idea was born to uh, write a topic under the framework program for research, uh, over three years to find a group uh, of consultancies, academics, whoever would be able to submit a good offer. Um, the idea, well, having a long-term cooperation, not always start and, uh, from scratch with a new study and preserve somehow the knowledge, that the knowledge is not only built within uh, the commission services, but also outside by uh, the group of people doing the study. Well. The result is we got a very good offer, um, and that's how the THINK, so-called THINK project started. Um, well, it's an ambitious project. It's over three years. It's uh, four studies a year, so in total there are 12 studies on a rather diverse range of energy topics. What makes this THINK project, in our view, unique? It's the process, and it's the process Jean-Michel described in his presentation is this combination of having uh, industry stakeholders being involved, uh, the so-called scientific council uh, being involved, and a public consultation. So the whole a study, each study over six months goes through a process, uh, a th or a three-stage process, and the ideas and the paper as it evolves is screened by very different people. And this while still keeping uh, a similar or the identical structure for the reports. So on the one hand, making it easy for, for the, the people carrying out the study, for us in the commission as the recipients, or the general public to identify the structure of the reports um, with a wide range of topics, but then again having the same people from the different areas looking at these different reports. So we think we've managed this balance between on the one hand flexible, on the other hand, having a rigor in terms of writing these reports and screening these uh, reports. Well, what else is there to say? We, I think the uh, final point I want to say is these reports, um, with this flexibility, we've managed also to catch topics which were just, um, just at, on top of the political agenda, I could say, like storage today is certainly one of the main topics in the energy area. A year ago, we had a report, or even more, on smart cities while we were developing a smart cities initiative. Well, buildings, refurbishment with the implementation of the energy uh, efficiency directive, which was just adopted in May, um, becomes now a topic how all these ambitious targets should be implemented. And I noticed three of the existing 10 reports actually focus on the 2050 horizon. So I think this, uh, the contract and the THINK project has enabled us to look beyond the daily, daily politics which threaten sometimes to determine too much our policy. But with these studies, it's the 2050 roadmap, it's the technology communication to 2050, and it's today's topic of refurbishing buildings, all buildings by 2050, which try to introduce the long-term horizon, which uh, I think often is missing in, in the more day-to-day -day political work. 
But I think I better stop here and leave the floor to the people who have carried out uh, these studies and can give you more details about the two studies uh, which will be presented today. Thank you.